Welcome back, Star. Welcome to Sun, Moon, and Stars Intuitive. I am Oracle of the Ether, and I came on to give a love energy reading for the collective. Now, this applies to all signs. Parts of this may resonate with you. Parts may not. This may be your reading. It may not be, all right? But flow with the energy. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe if you resonate with my energy. We would love to have you over here and just shine bright with the rest of the stars. I want to say thank you. We have cards jumping. I want to say thank you to all um, those have recently subscribed. I want to say thank you and much appreciation for the donations. If you would like to donate to my channel, the information will be in the description box below. All right, all the information you need, okay? Go ahead and remember to like the video. Reciprocity on this channel is much appreciated. So here we have reconciliation. Also go ahead and check out those monthly readings. They have already been done for each individual signs. You may want to have your birth chart. If you don't have your birth chart, the information for a brief, uh, free excuse me, birth chart will be in the description box below as well. So, I see that uh, someone is thinking about coming back to you or you possibly want to go back to someone else. Before I turned on the camera, someone is feeling like they need to let go of some control issues, okay? Somebody's got it bad. I, I, I hear that playing in my head, someone's got it bad for you. You see that? Let go of control issues. Someone's friends may be giving them some advice. You know, for those that are dealing with stubborn individuals, you know, you may be dealing with someone that don't want to take any advice. This person may feel like, you know, maybe now it's time. You know, some individuals, they feel like they know everything. You know, they may have it covered in some parts of their relationship. I mean, partnerships. Uh, as far as finances. But when it comes to love, a lot of people fall short, you know. So... Either show me what it is I need to see. We have deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship and codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So I'm hearing pass, pass, pass in my head, okay? So what I'm noticing off top is some of you are in three party situations. Now, um, I'm hearing unbeknownst to me in my head, okay? Some of you are uh, currently w sitting back and possibly watching someone else get busted, okay? Some of you are dealing with someone that was married, okay? You could also be a child's mother, um, you know, you're dealing with someone that may have a lot of uh, children because I'm hearing playerism, player ways, player mannerisms in my head. You may also be dealing with someone that is very smooth, okay? So it's interesting to see, uh, you know, where this reading is going. Because at the bottom of the deck, we have worth waiting for. And, re and oh, I was going to say reconciliation, but it's a honeymoon. I do feel like it is a reconciliation. For some of you, you have someone coming back. Now, this person has to travel. Anytime I see water, it indicates to me that someone had to do some subconscious work, okay? Someone may have traveled across a body of water. They may use water as a means of travel. You know, they could also travel bus by, by bus, plane, or train, you know? This person does a lot of traveling, okay? They may also have to release their ex in the past. This is someone that you may have a lot of romantic feelings for, or possibly... Uh, vice versa again i do feel like someone walked away um you know possibly because this person had multiple people either show me what oh i required love <clears throat> 
finances and career. See, every time I try to just, okay, I'm just going to go with it. Okay, finances and career and unrequited love, and you deserve love. So that's my walking away. All right. So calling in your soulmate. So this is, I'm hearing it's going to be a confirmation like a tell-all this is a tell-all that may resonate with someone here so here we have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation someone wants to reach out to you uh and talk about things that happened in the past if you hear me moving around I'm looking for my deck here okay this person wants to come back okay they could per they i do feel the energy of someone uh in their current environment possibly trying to convince them to stay I feel like this individual's, um, this individual's friends, you know, maybe, you know, for some of you is going to be half and half, you know, some of them is getting good advice and some of them don't have positive role models. Okay. So in the past, you took a chance with this person. Okay. Obviously. Um, and I feel with the dessert, you deserve love. You may have reached out to this person or this person is currently wanting to do that right now for some of you this may you may be in the process of this happening someone wants to come back and have some sort of conversation with you okay um again i do feel for children you could have children with this person i'm hearing i'm hearing finance finance okay for some of you this person walked away and they walked away and in this process of them walking away they realized that you were the one with this true love card for some of you this person went to what we call a distorted feminine or masculine individual a karmic okay <clears throat> and you know it's sort of like you know you you live and you learn again i feel that really immature energy so this is someone that is really fun and attractive like fire energy whether if they're fire signs or not okay with the pay attention to the red flags they may have chose to walk away um to someone else that was more um youthful you know again not youthful, not saying that you're not young, but someone more willing to play foolish games with this person. Okay, I feel strong foundation in this uh, reading with the finances and career. Some of you walked away and, you know, decided to work on your finances, whether if you were male or female, and you walked away and walked yourself right into an unrequited love situation. And this is what you're currently dealing with, either you or your person. This person has realized now uh, what a soulmate is, okay? So this may be someone that does a lot of research here. Um, oh, yeah. With this, with this uh, seven of wands, I feel like whether if you're male or female, this person is ready to defend uh, the situation that you may be feeling defensive towards this person. You know, especially if they come back, you're you know you're focusing on your finances, finances and career. Yeah, with the page of pentacles, some of you are starting new businesses here. And uh, page of swords, you may feel this person coming in um, again. Uh, for those that this may turn into a incoming lover, because I do feel that situation, this person is going to match your energy with the Page of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. Okay, this person is studying you, watching you, um, seeing that you are building something. Okay, we have a lot of Page energy, a lot of fresh, youthful energy. So this is something that's just beginning. <clears throat> So this could be in the past for some of you or presently or going for in the future. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, someone is most definitely for those that are not focusing on a third party or just another person in general. Um, this is just telling me that focusing on your businesses and your uh, career, getting the education that you need to move forward. Right. And you'll be successful. Okay, for some of you, you may run into a situation or may have in the past where you put your energy into the wrong business venture or the wrong person with the page of wands. Okay, for some of you, you okay, for some of you, ooh, this is weird. Okay, for some of you, you may be dealing, dealing with someone that you work with. Okay, yeah. Okay, you may have or your person may have. Uh, had sex, yeah, with the Knight of Cups. 
we have the Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy and then we have the Nine of Cups here. Yeah, so I feel like some of you may have dealt with someone at your job, okay? You may have had sex with this person, okay? Someone walked away. Someone chose to be independent, you know, single. This is someone that looks very good. This is someone that's very passionate. They have offers, okay? And they're not looking to um, give their cup or their love or their time and, and attention to just anyone. With the Ace of Pentacles here and the Queen of Wands, most definitely. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, energy. For some of you, this person in the past that you're dealing with may have... Uh, step down <laughs> they may have chose a karmic for a lesson okay yeah yeah then with the four of pentacles this is something that they held on to for a while okay this person may still hold on to you energetically with the strength card this person um this person chooses to be with someone that pacifies them you know this is fire sign energy with the strength card this person wants to be uh nurtured so even I feel like even if you were giving that to this person, they didn't realize what that was, you know, kind of like they didn't realize what love was, especially with the seven of cups here. This person, again, attracts a lot of attention or you do, but you have someone that you're holding on to with the seven of swords here. You have someone that you're holding on to from the past. You may have left this person because of some sort of illusion. Some of you has something to do with partying. Some of you deal with musicians or you are a musician. That goes here. Why is the four of pentacles here? Like I said, someone walked away. Someone walked away because they wasn't getting pacified by you anymore. Okay? Or you, you know, or vice versa. Okay? Even though that you were this person's wish, they may have one time even wished to, they could have manifested you in. For some of you, this person may have proposed marriage to you or may have wanted to marry you in the past. Okay? With the Ace of Cups here. For some of you, this person may be holding on to a gift for you, possibly a ring, most definitely, because, yeah, we have the Two of Cups here, and at the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Wands and the Hang Spirit. This person is definitely holding on to something here. <clears throat> yeah, I stopped at the Six of Wands. They put you on the pedestal. You may also be someone, again, that is famous, or, you know, you have a lot of attention on your social media. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Why is the Ace of Cups? Like the video. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this person has a ring or has a ring for, you know, for someone. Okay? Most well, definitely. Oh. Uh, yeah, this person with the mice energy, this, this is something that they're holding back from you. Again, they, be, they may be watching you on social media. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> This is interesting that the mice is here. Yeah, because they're being sneaky. And this is something that they hear from you. Yeah, in the past. Okay, so I'm, I'm getting like in the past, you may have had uh, some sort of argument or altercation. I'm hearing texts in my head. For some of you, you text message this person. You told them that they were sneaky. You know, um, you, you may have had some Un, you know, choice words with this person and it turned into a unrequited love situation. <clears throat> this is why this person wants to come back. They're watching you trying to figure out, is it safe to love? <laughs> is it safe to come back with the four of wands here? Unrequited love. Oh, yeah. Five of swords wanted to come out. This person is in despair. Okay. So for someone, <clears throat> if you want to know if their marriage is unrequited, Yes, it is. Does this person know it? Yes, it is. They know now. Why is unrequited love here? Oh, what did I tell you? Okay. Eight of Swords. This person is mentally entrapped. Uh, they're, they're trapped in their thoughts. Okay. For some of you, this person is binded. And yeah, if you don't like that, I talk about spells on my channel. This ain't the channel for you. Okay. You're going to get education. Okay. Just because there you people smile and talk about he 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 all this re no, religion and spirituality is two different things. Please be mindful so you don't get tricked and tricked and duped. 
Okay, so I said trip. Someone tripped. Someone is tripping. Someone is tripping in their current situation. They're blinded, okay, and tied. <laughs> they can, but they scared. They looking back. They like, why did I leave you? Are you thinking, why did I leave this person? Okay, some of you, this person wants to sneak off with the mice here. They may want to come in with some sort of offer. Yeah, <laughs> look at this. So I was like, kid you not. This person is protective of you with the bear here. This may resonate with someone that visits California, lives in California. Your person may be from California, okay? Maybe they may want to go to California. I don't know with the two of wands. They may want to come to California or you, okay? Not necessarily, but, you know, this could resonate with anyone. But the bear, you could also be dealing with all signs, but with that... that uh, Look at this came out with that. <laughs> Look at this came out with the with that bear and that fish you could be dealing with the Pisces. Again, I already said a few other signs. We have water, we have fire, we have air. Every sign is here. Okay. So, you know, these are the cards that got stuck in the deck. So the bouquet, the mice, and the stork. Okay. So there's an unrequited love situation. Okay, for some of you, I'm, I'm being told to speak the real. This person went off and may have got duped, okay, by a rat, someone that told lies, someone that manipulated the situation. For some of you, it was a child involved. This person may want to come out and share this news with you with this nine of swords and energy. This person is mentally conflicted. Here you are over here looking good. Okay, whether if you male or female, you looking good. Okay, all right. I'm getting working out. Yeah, um, yeah. Keep it tight. Get it right. But get working out. You know. Mm -hmm. I'm here. Winter body. Summer. Winter. Winter. Summer bodies are created in the winter. Okay, so someone is looking really, really good. Okay, you have stepped it up. This person wants to come in and ruin it. <laughs> no, I'm just my bad okay but see look at these cards see. okay so this person definitely wants to leave a situation that they may have uh, been you know took a leap so for some of you this person and wants to leave a marriage that they're no longer interested in especially if they had spell work done to get in it okay uh -huh, I'm required to love oh yes the death card Scorpio energy the Knight of Wands, someone wants to come in with some truth and they want to come in and possibly have sex here, but you're going to tell them no, this person may, this may happen for some of you um, shortly, <laughs> or if you're the person that's thinking about doing it, don't do it because, mm, yeah, why is the death card here, <clears throat> why is the death card here? the emperor this is a business owner usually this is an older gentleman but it doesn't have to be this could also be be a Taurus or Aries this is someone that has a lot of attention whether if you're male or female okay you have the pick of the litter this person you know again has the pick of the litter I feel like this goes like this here we have the emperor here you know they you know this person has two women at his beck and call or this is a woman that has two men at their beck and call. Or two women or two men. I don't know. Okay, hey. And here we have the Queen of Pentacles. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. Right? And this emperor is, you know, pointing here at this Queen of Pentacles. But here we have you here. You may have blocked this person. If this person is trying to figure out how to get back, they like, oh, this is my soulmate. Why is the emperor here? What does the emperor have to say? <clears throat> that they're holding on to you. You might you are my anchor. This person possibly may want to have some sort of um, new idea for you. This person is thinking very passionately here. This could also be a Pisces, or you could be a Pisces. They see you as an anchor. For some of you, this person ha may have a lot of Sagittarius in their blood. This person was clouded. Again, we have the snake here, right? 
because there was, for some of you, there was spell work. For others that are not dealing with spell work, you don't know nothing about that. Your people don't know nothing about it. This is a conniving friend or family member that was clouding this person's judgment about you. You know, um, this is someone that they may have respected with the fish card here because the fish card represents wisdom. <clears throat> okay. Oh, I'll get, ooh. Ooh, I heard in my head, for some of you, this, uh, this person that do spell work, um, yeah, cuckoo, the cherry box, the sweet tart ain't too good, it's thank, it's <laughs> and that, and they're like, look, the emperor was like, look, 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 which, which way did he go? <laughs> For some of you, this has something to do with the child. Maybe this person went and tried to get your person back. Um, possibly do some magic on them. Try to manifest a child here. Yeah. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. Tell me more about this snake. Why is the snake here? Some of you, you're blocking it off. You know I mean, again, <laughs> the like it. Yeah. This person was doing love work love spells, sex magic. For some of you, this is someone's child's mother. <clears throat> they may have gotten some sort of knowledge or maybe they got a reading. I don't know. They have some sort of mission. A mission. This person has a mission. They will be on a mission to contact you. I know that much because they see you as the anchor. For some of you, this person used spell work again because um, they wanted to possibly get pregnant or they wanted to keep you if you were a child's father. Maybe you are the person that did work to try to keep this person because this person was stable. And uh, if that's the case, it backfired here. Yeah, it backfired here, most definitely. It was blocked off with the death card and the eight of swords. I mean, you know, if you're the person that did work to keep someone, you came out or will with the sun card here. Um, you did your own grave. I just heard that with the two of swords here. Someone is, you know, protected. You possibly, you know, um, did a reversal. I'm getting someone did a reversal. Okay. Uh, someone is just blocked. Someone is protected here. Yeah. Someone most definitely seen through this this illusion with the mountains here. But the gentleman, oh, most definitely. Or they will. And it's going to end. Or it's currently ending or has already with the grave card here. That's two representations here. Calling on your soulmate. Why is calling on your soulmate here? Oh, it came out sideways. So, I feel like... It came out sideways because it's not in the process yet. This person is in the middle of a transformation here. Yeah. With the hang spirit, the ten of cups, and then we have the seven of cups. This person is going to find out no matter what. Even if this person goes and try to have some more work done, it's, it's sealing, they're sealing their own grave here. Make sure you check out your individual readings here on my channel. Let's go subscribe. I'm all like, because I got that Mercury retrograde energy coming. Don't trip. But yeah, with the Ten of Swords here, this person's like, man, I want the true one, or you want the true one here. Um, you may want to go back to someone that you know is your true soulmate. And, you know, that's why this person is like, I'm done. I'm going back. I hope you'll take me back. Okay, for some of you with this heart-to-heart -heart conversation, you may not want to hear it, but this person is going to come back. And they're waiting, trying to figure out... Is it safe for you to love? This person feels like you deserve loving the children. Someone someone wants to have a child with you. Or you want to have a child with someone else. Okay, but no doubt the cycle is ending here. This person sees you as wish fulfillment. They see you as wish fulfillment. Or you see someone else. Let's get... I haven't used these in a while. Let's get some positive energy. Either... Show me what you need to see to close this reading. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And donate if you feel, feel led to. All right. Show me what it is I need to see. Ah, oh, release. So, yeah, and knowledge. So, yeah, most definitely, especially with the eight, we have the 
to get it take it tight and you light these are um, crystal grids of protection okay so you may want to take a picture of that you maybe get those crystals and do this grid all right and this one is knowledge so smoky quartz record keeper so most definitely someone is going to find out what's going on okay and they're going to release and it's going to be a peaceful situation they're going to they're going to release and it's going to be peace after this person yeah with the transition either show me what it is yeah transition we have 33 that may resonate with you this person or you is definitely on some sort of spiritual awakening you could be a spiritual teacher you could be a spiritual team this is a rebirth here with the 22 all these these angel numbers or um codes download codes dna activation codes for some and the communication all right so someone most definitely wants to communicate with you or they will be communicating with you about a rebirth and a ending or a beginning you have this person's heart like comment subscribe and i'll see y'all later